The Offshore Risk Modeling, or ORM suite, is comprised of eight innovative science and data-driven computational tools and models designed to predict, prevent, and prepare for future oil spills. The Offshore Risk Modeling Suite we started developing after both lessons learned from Hurricanes Katrina and Rita, which impacted infrastructure in the Gulf of Mexico, and from the Deepwater Horizon spill, which was one of the world's worst offshore oil spills. The tools address key gaps in knowledge and the need for spill prevention aligned to spatio-temporal data computing solutions to improve the prediction and evaluation of offshore systems. As hydrocarbon exploration ventures into new territory with increasing advanced technology, there is a need for methods and resources to improve system-wide knowledge and advanced analytics to evaluate risks and support rapid response needs in the event of a future spill. And there's a lot of things that we thought we could do using data science, spatial temporal analytics to put the smaller pieces of the puzzle into the bigger picture. The ORM suite offers a novel and comprehensive grouping of data, models, and tools as a one-stop shop for providing predictions surrounding hazards and challenges faced during common offshore oil and gas activities. It uses thousands of data sources to cross-examine data across space and time, which allows for both predictive analyses and an immensely wide scope of knowledge that no other current spill-based risk management technology can provide. We're trying to optimize for the public for industry, for the regulatory stakeholders, as well as for our new science and, and engineering coming up down the pike to prevent those incidents and optimize these systems for the future. The six primary ORM suite components include the following tools and models. The Climatological Isolation and Attraction Model, a quick response tool that applies mathematical theories of dynamical systems and meta-ocean data, including real-time ocean current and wind patterns, to determine where oil and other particles in the ocean are likely to be attracted or repulsed. It's looking at patterns. It can help you understand areas where the ocean may be riskier. And it can help you then plan. So you can design your operations more safely or more cost-effectively if it's in a less risky area. The Blowout Spill Occurrence Model an open source, comprehensive model made up of several modules to help visualize and predict the scope of environmental damage in the event of a blowout. Blossom is sort of the starting point where it generates details about the condition of the uh, scenario we want to investigate. Cumulative Spatial Impact Layers, a geographic information system-based tool that rapidly identifies and quantifies potential socioeconomic and environmental risk. So it takes the oil spill information, the potential impacts, and it can also take response equipment, so response availability, summarize it all together, and kind of present you with a full picture, a layer that represents the full picture on a map. The Spatially Weighted Impact Model, a decision support tool that incorporates relationships among oil spill information, response availability, and potential risk to evaluate spill events against a baseline scenario. It's really designed to help users of the offshore risk modeling suite be able to go and evaluate different decision scenarios to help them make strategic plans, to plan accordingly for what ifs and what may happen. The subsurface trend analysis tool, which improves the predictions of subsurface property values and leverages information about geologic systems. This tool allows us to look at the subsurface in a different way. By using geologic knowledge, we get to paint a picture of what the statistics are telling us. Something that I really like about this tool is how it integrates with other tools within the offshore risk modeling suite. Um, I think that its power only grows as we add to that information through other methods and the variable grid method, which communicates any uncertainty in data and modeled results. So it's really designed to help people kind of quickly see their information, understand what they have and what they don't have, and based off that, they can make more informed decisions. In addition to these six analytical tools, all data in use has been integrated into NETL's Energy Data Exchange, the virtual data library used by the Department of Energy's Office of Fossil Energy, and visualized through the GeoCube tool, which allows users to quickly view data, download resources, identify overall trends and patterns in the data, and share these discoveries with others. These eight tools and models can be used independently or together to provide a wider scope of knowledge surrounding the subsurface, water column, and shore. When combined, the ORM suite can be utilized in simulating oil spill and blowout scenarios in 4D, identifying critical subsurface characteristics, evaluating response preparedness, 
and assessing offshore infrastructure integrity, among other uses. Over the past six years, I feel like we've looked at what is out there, we've looked at what industry has, we looked at what academia has, and we've kind of teased together what it's missing. The Offshore Risk Modeling Suite offers the opportunity for industry, academia, researchers like myself to better understand the complex relationships of the offshore system. It's like detective work, so we're looking at what happened and through that data we're able to write the story of geology and the earth in that area. And then we can take that knowledge and use it elsewhere to further other scientific research or provide further information for policy. Because ultimately the goal of the research program that this is affiliated with is safety, spill prevention, and offshore optimization. We want a safe and economically you know, viable industry that is able to maintain itself into the future.